Hello and welcome to Infoverse Tech. This is uh, the, the channel where we explore and review different technologies including machine learning, AI, data visualization, Python, and so on. Uh, today we're going to look at um, Y Finance, which is uh, a library um, that can be used in, with, with Python to look at historical data of stocks. And we're going to combine it with uh, Streamlit, which will allow us to explore various uh, options for a particular stock. So let's get started. Uh, as you can see on my screen, I already have uh, done a you know, CD or change directory to where my um, Streamlit uh, or Python script is located. And then I've run Streamlit run and the name of that file, which is streamlit underscore stock underscore ticker. Now I've covered uh, the basics of setting up your environment in an earlier um, earlier video called Introduction to Streamlit. So I would ask you to uh, visit that in order to see how you can set up your environment. So I'm going to get started. Uh, the, the first thing I would do would be to import um, some of the uh, libraries. So let's get that here. Uh, I'm using uh, Visual Code. So here, here are three of the libraries that we need. So the first one is uh, that we've used uh, earlier, which is Streamlit. So it's import Streamlit as ST. Import Y Finance as YF. So Y Finance is, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it's a library uh, that allows us to uh, look at historical data of any stock. Uh, as long as it's listed on the major stock exchanges. And then we're also importing pandas as, as it can be PD or, or pandas. Uh, we need that uh, to in order to look at the data that comes in um, from Wife Finance. So uh, let me just use ST write uh, in order to, um, you know, create a nice, uh, nice looking heading for our um, page here. So let me run that. And so as you can see, uh, what so far what we've done is we've just used the st.write streamlit function to write out what we are planning to do, which is an online stock price ticker. Okay, so let's look at some data. So. Uh, I'm interested in looking at uh, a very popular stock, which is called Tesla. So let me just uh, show you how that's done. So in order to use Y Finance, I use a, a variable called ticker symbol equals to Tesla. And then we import some other uh, functions like ticker data, which will actually uh, use the yf dot ticker and uh, it replace it with the uh, ticker symbol that we uh, have provided in the in line seven. So, uh, using T TSLA, which is um, Tesla, it will read the data. So, let's also provide um, a time period. So, what we are saying here is that uh, ticker df some variable that's equal to the ticker data dot history we're asking for a period of one day and the start time is 2010 ending time is today so we're looking at a period of um, 11 years for this particular stock and then we just need um, a way to print it out uh, show how the stock behaved over the years. This could be like an 11 year period. And so we're going to use st.line underscore chart, which is, as we know very well, using Streamlit, um, that it'll give us a line chart. Uh, so this would do, do the closing price. And uh, again, using or charting uh, the dot volume, which will give us the volume for that particular stock. So let's run the, this, these few lines and you'll see how easy it is to uh, be able to capture this information for any stock. So let me rerun that. And uh, yeah, just to let you know, you know, when you run Streamlit, 
it actually starts listening on the, the first instance starts with the 8501 port and you know as you launch um, additional instances they can increment accordingly so the 8501 so that's my local host and it's listening here so all i need to do is um, after updating my file i just save that and it, this is set to rerun always so it reruns the code and you can see that um, uh, it's showing the the tesla stock starting from 2010 um, and then going all the way till today and you know recently recent um, three or four days we are seeing it go down from a peak of um, 900 to around about let's say about uh, so yeah yesterday it closed at i'm trying to get exact uh, so yesterday or on march 4th that i can see it closed at um, s let's say 600 something so you know uh, just in a few lines you're able to get this uh, uh, data captured using uh, python and streamlit and using that uh, y finance library and the lower picture shows um, again starting from 2010 the volume of that stock so you can see the volume is in like millions these are the over a period of uh, 11 years how it has fared every day um, over these years and you can see it, it touched like 300 million shares and were uh, traded on that single day uh, sometime in 2020 so um, I, I hope you can appreciate uh, the combination of streamlet with finance why finance and how powerful it is to um, display information of any stock okay let me uh, remove this for a while and let me show you some additional capabilities of this uh, very very um, useful li library so um, let me show you uh, how we can use the ticker module which allows us to access ticker data and uh, what, what are all the uh, you know fun functions and capabilities available with that so I'm just uh, saying Tesla some uh, variable that's equal to yf dot ticker um, and has to match the name of the actual ticker ticker symbol so once that is done uh, what we want is as an example i want uh, to know more about this stock right more details so what i can run is tesla dot info and when i run that or sorry save that you see it populates and uh, this time uh, this will actually give you a very detailed information about the stock so full-time employees are over 70,000 um, it's, it's it's based out of Palo Alto some additional details um, let's see so the currency uh, also it doesn't give a dividend uh, yield is not showing up let's look at things that are so trailing um, PE is 879 currency is US dollars um, let's look at some so you, you can see it's got the symbol is TSLA which uh, we knew that's how we were able to access that data so very powerful uh, just by adding dot info we're able to look at a whole lot of information for this uh, particular stock so let me just uh, comment it out because this is this takes like uh, two pages and let me look at some other information so uh, let's say i am an investor and i am interested to know the calendar of events so you know when dividends are uh, being uh, when should i be expecting dividends and such information or earnings will be announced so it's very simple so tesla dot calendar so let's run that and uh, you can see that uh, uh, the the last one was 27th April and next one is uh, 3rd May and uh, the earnings average earnings low uh, revenue average so you know uh, details that 
will be published so these are mostly the uh, earnings events that have been published so you can see um, every month they're published but uh, it didn't show any dividend because uh, Tesla does not provide any dividends um, let's let's confirm that so let's say Tesla dot uh, dividends let's see if it does provide any or or not so it, it shows up empty right um, let's say if I wanted to uh, look at some stock that does give uh, uh, let's say Google or let's say Apple which I believe does give dividends so let's take a look uh, a PPL okay and I just wanted to comment this out and instead of Tesla I want Apple and let's run that there you go so you can see uh, because Apple does give dividends uh, you can see from since 1987 when it started giving dividends it till till last month it's provided a dividend so you know again a very very easy way to get that information okay let me just minimize this because I I won't be using I'm more interested in Tesla than Apple so that's why I would like to show you some more um, use cases of using uh, via finance and some it's some of its advanced functionality so um, let's take a look at who are the major shareholders of this of this stock right are they uh, who are the big players let's take a look so you see um, nine, tw about 20 percent are held by insiders 42 um, percent by institutions um, fifty-three percent float held by institutions, and the total number of institutions holding shares are like over two thousand. Wow! Um, let's take a look at um, the list of institutional holders of this stock. Let's run that, and it can just show up below this. It should be fine. So you can see Vanguard, BlackRock. These are all the big uh, investment companies uh, around the world, including banks. They, they all have a share, you know, millions and millions of shares and their value. Uh, let's look at some other things that we would be interested in. So I'm inter interested to know that uh, what is the sustainability of this stock, uh, which means, uh, you know, how does it uh, manage environment and so on. And some investors are keen to know that information so all i need to do is uh, tesla dot sustainability and let's take a look at that and again it should show up under these tables so you can see um, palm oil no it doesn't use uh, let's say gambling no social score is 17 nuclear no uh, no alcohol no gmo so again you know some of these are related to food items but uh, the sustainability index does go through all that are in its uh, database and gives you a, a score so you know uh, pretty good uh, to me it seems uh, that um, this is a good uh, socially well-placed uh, organization and I would like to uh, invest in it now let's look at um, one other thing and uh, let's look at some recommendations so you know things look good um, how about recommendations I you know I'm not sure if I should purchase this stock it's still trading at like $500 so let's have a look at what other investors and uh, companies are thinking about it. like you know and we're talking about firms like JP Morgan and <coughs> Oxen Group uh, sorry about that Morgan Stanley Golden Sachs uh, BOA um, what is their opinion so uh, starting from like 2012 all the way till uh, last month you can see Deutsche uh, Bank was of the opinion to buy this Roth Capital was neutral um, 
Morgan Stanley said it's overweight and so on. So again, you know, you, you can go back to the last couple of months or last quarter and make a decision of how the stock is moving and if it's worth investing in. So it, it, this was a short introduction to why finance, uh, you know, along with uh, Streamlit. And I, I hope you enjoyed the video and would, um, you know, strongly recommend that you go ahead and explore this on your own. Yeah, so thank you very much for joining me today um, and hope you do subscribe to the video and my channel. Thank you. Bye.